Hello, I am Ines from ThorraidCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to fly through some clouds with your camera in Adobe After Effects. Of course, we will need a plugin called Particular, which isn't integrated with After Effects, but I really recommend buying it because it's a really powerful plugin and it can be uh, can be used for a lot of other projects, not only for clouds. So um, I will show you a technique in uh, Particular that you can use for multiple um, projects, not only for this cloud. So if you don't want to create these clouds, I still recommend watching the tutorial for um, learning a lot about Particular, well not a lot but um, some things and you will be able to use it for your own projects for different things so uh, let's get started um, maybe you want to see a preview of what we are going to create and this is a preview okay so I'm gonna click here <laughs> okay there we go so really simple just some uh, fly through some clouds over here and we can do this on a different way as well by um, using um, different images, uh, real images, because this is a preset in particular itself. Um, but you can use real clouds uh, that are keyed out and you can in import them into particular and use the, uh, those as a particle. But uh, unfortunately, I don't have these clouds uh, keyed out. So um, I will show you the technique on how you can do it and I will show it within a different example. But uh, you will get the ID, so no worries. And let's get started on this tutorial. Um, so first of all, I'm going to create a new composition, 920, uh, 9020 uh, on 1080, and we're going to call it Clouds Fly Through. Okay. Hit OK. And now what you want to do is right-click New Solid, and you want to create a nice color for our background. So it's the sky. So we're going to call it Sky. And then right click again, hit new solid, and just use a white color this time so you can see the differences between the layers and call it particular clouds. Okay. Particular. Okay. Hit okay. And then go to effect, trap code, trap code particular. Uh, if you don't know what is this, um, the trail link will be in the description. So if you want to use it and test it out, um, just click on the link and download it. So uh, first of all we are going to emitter and here we're going to change the emitter type instead of point to box and then we want to change the velocities to zero, all to zero because we don't need them and then just drag this time uh, timeline to the left so you all see, uh, already see over here that the particles are born and that way we can use them immediately so uh, next what we want to do is go to particle and change the life to the length of your comp so in this case 15 seconds so I'm gonna enter 15 you could also add 16 to be sure if you have any frames um, farther than 15 or if you're um, not sure and you wanna make it la longer later on maybe change 35 doesn't really matter um, so next one you wanna do is make the particles um, to the screen width and get it into Z as well so go to the emitter size X and just change it over here so um, also if you hold shift this is gonna move really fast and maybe that's useful in some cases because sometimes you really have to drag a lot and if you hold shift that's going to help that so that's also a nice step to know also drag up and uh, drag up the uh, the Y I'm sorry and then the Z you, you want to change it to 20,000 something like that something big and if you change this to 20,000 you should um, use a position of Z as 10,000 so just the half of uh, what you're entering right over here as you can see uh, a little some little particles not much but we're gonna fix this because it doesn't this doesn't look uh, any far close to clouds so um, just change the sphere over here in particles so just open particle and then over here particle type instead of sphere we're gonna use this cloud led and this doesn't look any anything near clouds either but um just change the size to instead of 5 change to let, let's say 180 and as you can see again nothing close to clouds so just change the opacity to 15 and that will help maybe you want to make it a little bit wider something like that a little bit higher okay there we go 15 15 there we go maybe 10 okay and I'm gonna use 200 instead of 180 so now we want to add a camera new camera I'm gonna use a 35 millimeters and I'm gonna name it camera hit ok 
and then just hit P on the keyboard to reveal the position of this camera. Click on the keyframe over here. Uh, another thing before we do this, and go to particular clouds and click on the keyframe for particles per second. And then just move one frame into the time. So that's page down on the keyboard. Um, page down and then just change it to zero or you can just do it by hand but it's a lot easier with page down and page up to move and if you hold shift you move 10 frames also nice to know which is really useful in some cases um, so as you can see now the clouds just stay all the um, the whole time they just stay in the same position so the only thing we got to do now is animate the, the uh, camera so you want to find the beginning so that will probably be over here, so just going to zero right first. Click on the keyframe and just move in time. And maybe you want to change it to like let's say minus three thousand over here. Okay, maybe you want to make it a little bit larger. Let's preview this first and see what we've got. It's going really slow so you want to change this a lot a lot bigger as you can see it's not long enough so the only thing you have to change over here is the uh, the z space and it's instead of 10,000 minus 10,000 I guess okay there we go that was the problem and um, just change this a lot more so hold shift it's a lot easier okay there we go and now it should help a bit. So now we are in reverse, so you just change the keyframes if you want to move through them instead of going back, uh, no big deal. If you want to make them bigger, just do so. I'm just um, covering some techniques over here, so I'm not going to try and create the most perfect sky over here, so it's just um, so you know how to do it and find your own way of uh, create some, creating some creative skies. So as you can see over here, this is our sky and as you can see also it's um, way too small so I'm gonna change it to let's say 300 and change the size random to 550 uh, okay now re-render this it might be too big now so <laughs> yeah we'll see maybe I'm gonna pause this video until it's done okay so it's done and let's replay it so this looks uh, pretty close to a cloud, but I'm maybe a little bit too big. So let's change this to let's say 250 and that'll fix a lot of this. So here we have our sky. But uh, if you want to import uh, real clouds that are keyed out and all that crazy stuff and create them some real, uh, really realistic scenes. Also, if you want to make it a lot more realistic, um, another thing you can do is just remove this background and import a real sky in here. So that it looks really realistic and it will help a lot so um, maybe also change the position of um, make make a 3d layer so toggle switches if you don't see um, this one over here this row just click 3d and then just move it back into into Z so then just once you've done it just um, press S on the keyboard to scale it up and just scale it until it's fitting the comp over here so that will also give a nice effect of 3d and that you're moving into space uh, into space <laughs> okay so um i'm sorry about that and um, so okay once we've done that i will cover the other um manner of doing this um it's a little bit harder but um it's a lot more cooler and you can do a lot more new things and it looks a lot more realistic so okay create a new composition for this one and just change the name to particle for cloud okay okay and over here you will have to import your real clouds that you have keyed out but I don't have any clouds so I'm gonna make one in vectors so let's see let's say this is my cloud over here and also what you can do is um, make this to the, to the center of this timeline so seven and a half duplicate it by holding control and pressing D on the keyboard and moving it to the beginning of the other one over here. Make sure they are not and that they're they are aligned perfectly over here. And just make another one. So make some adjustment. And that uh, can make some variation in your clouds. So if you import two images of two different clouds, 
that will create some in, um, some variation over here. So uh, go back to particle clouds and instead of particle type cloudlet, we are going to change it to sprite. Um, so click on sprite, go to texture, and now what you want to do is go to project over here and just drop this cloud um, particle and drop it into the composition and just key this out so that you, uh, so you, that you don't see it any any uh, anywhere in the comp. Okay, so sorry for struggling over here. <laughs> go back to effects control and go back to the texture layer and now we can uh, select this layer particle for cloud over here. Hit OK, no biggie. And as you can see over here we have a cloud. So um, I'm going to change it back to let's say 50% opacity so you can see um, that we have a cloud over here. And you can do this with a lot of different things. And now we want to change the current time to um, random and still frame. Random still frame. And as you can see, now you're using these two images, one of this and one of this, randomly. And they are going to create some clouds in the air. So it's a really nice feature from Particular. You can use it for a lot of uh, other things like money and make a front side, a back side and make some money and that is flying through the air or some pokering and some cards flying through the air some cool projects being in my head um, but I didn't have time to make them yet so um, have some fun create something that you like and post your video response if you do so uh, using this tutorial I will be glad to see what you guys come up with also leave a like if you uh, like this uh, tutorial if you didn't dislike it uh, unfortunately but um, well you have to do what you have to do. So um, be sure to check out my channel. I have a lot of other tutorials. Uh, I also take suggestions. So if you have a suggestion for a tutorial, just post them. Um, PM me. Not in the comments. Uh, I don't always see my comments. So it's easier if you just personal message me about that. Um, I always read my personal messages. Uh, messages so yeah. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Take care.